Chance Technology, the podcast. Hi, everyone. My name is Laura Flamaric, and I am the video producer and digital media specialist of Chance Technology. And today we are here to speak about a topic that concerns two critical computer science concepts, explainable and interpretable AI. As artificial intelligence continues to shape various industries, it's crucial to understand these concepts and their implications for responsible AI deployment. Joining us to delve into this topic is the founder and CEO of Gens Technology, Stefan Vincenri. Welcome back to the studio. Hi, everyone. The distinction between explainable and interpretable AI isn't always clear, leading to confusion. With AI techniques becoming more complex and opaque, it's crucial to clarify their differences to ensure ethical and unbiased AI decision-making. Exactly. As AI systems become more prevalent, understanding the mechanism behind their decisions becomes paramount for identifying and addressing potential biases and errors. If we want to identify bias or correct any mistake, we must first understand how these techniques reach decisions. Right. So let's break them down. What is explainable AI? By definition, explainable AI models summarize the reasons for their behavior or produce insights about the cause of their decisions. What does this mean? The goal in explainable AI is to help us, as humans, understand why the algorithm made the decision it did. Okay, so explainable AI explains the reason or the cause of that particular decision or recommendation. Yes, in a human readable explanation. So we know why they were reached, but not how that happened. Yes, it's hard to know how a result was reached, but you mostly know why, if you trust the explanation, of course. Okay, and interpretable? Interpretable AI refers to AI systems that describe the internals of a system in a way which is understandable to humans. So we understand the how. Yes, how an AI algorithm works, understanding the model architecture, the feature used, and how those features are weighted. Should we give an example of them to help understand what that means? Of course. Let's consider a practical scenario using a matching engine as an example. Imagine we have a system that matches resumes and candidates with job offers. In this case, an interpretable system will provide insight into the how by allowing the designers to comprehend the way various factors such as job titles, skills, and experience, along with their respective weights, contribute to determining the match results. Whereas, in contrast, an explainable system would offer a written explanation that sheds light on the decision-making process. For instance, it might reveal a candidate's strengths and weaknesses, which is valuable in certain contexts. However, you don't know exactly how this information played into the matching score, and thus you cannot reproduce the result yourself. That's a comprehensive explanation. But, Stefan, how can we know if the explanation provided by the system truly corresponds to how the AI algorithm made its decision? Depending on how the AI system is designed, there might be a gap between the explanation provided and the actual reasoning of the system. This can happen due to the complexity of some algorithms, where the internal processes are intricate and difficult to translate into a simple explanation. So while the explanation gives us some insight, we need to be cautious about assuming it perfectly represents the AI's decision-making path. So even with the written explanation, there is still a possibility of missing out on important details that influence the outcome? Precisely, Laura. It's a nuanced challenge. The written explanation might not capture every factor that played a role in the decision. There could be hidden biases or other factors that the explanation doesn't highlight. This brings us back to the importance of evaluating AI systems meticulously, considering potential biases and ensuring that the explanation provided are as accurate as possible. Makes sense. Is it better then to use an interpretable system? It's definitely easier to identify and correct bias and build trust because, as we mentioned, with them we know precisely how the results are generated. They are reproducible and consistent as well as accurately explainable. This sounds good. Yes, it does. However, we still face the challenge of correctly processing the data. 
if your system can't properly deal with the input data. The mistakes in the processing will lead to spurious reasoning. Certainly. If we feed biased data, the outcome will be as well biased. We also discussed this in the previous podcast. Poor data will consistently yield poor results. How can we effectively process the data and avoid this corruption? Your system must, at the very least, be able to accurately recognize and normalize the pertinent information within a data set. For example, at Jans, we employ a range of tools that carry out this process. We utilize a parser that extracts and identifies all entities, specifically from documents like resumes, job offers, and related files, such as cover letters, letters of reference, certificates, and more. We then integrate this parsed information with our ontology that allows us to contextualize and provide perspective by presenting all associated data. This step is crucial in ensuring that the extracted data is put into the right context. In parallel, we proceed to normalize the data, refining it to maintain consistency and coherence in more than 60 languages. For those not familiarized with our technologies or not having the technical knowledge of what this means, what do we need to understand exactly? No system is perfect, but for sure we need benchmarks and metrics. We require experts that are actually capable of evaluating the system and the results. High quality data is crucial. Furthermore, we may still want to build a purely ML-based machine that can correctly process the data. After this, the next step is to process the data into an interpretable system and produce fair and accurate results with true full explanation but can be understood by humans. This is a valuable input to Stefan. Could we think of both? Explainable and interpretable AI? If we want the system to be used in any part of an HR tech stack, it must be both explainable and interpretable. Arguably, more important is the fact that HR tech is used in decisions that strongly affect real people's lives and as such must be transparent, fair, and in all respects, ethical. And even if your system is only going to produce job recommendations for users, Explainable results could be excellent value proposition by building trust and providing users with actionable insights. And with any HR analytics tool, you should want to know how the tool arrived at its decision or recommendation before acting on it. Of course. Sometimes we just assume and forget to properly check what kind of technology we are using. When I think about all these terms and conditions that we so easily accept, imagine with AI technologies where the lack of knowledge the majority has is so little. Even worse, think about the public employment services. I can give you a big list of countries in Europe that don't comply with the current and even less with the upcoming and all the new regulations. They have no idea if they are compliant or not. This has to change one way or another, and transparency appears to be crucial in this context. Absolutely, Laura. Transparency not only helps build trust in AI systems, but also empowers us to identify and address any shortcomings. By striving for transparency, we enhance our ability to understand, scrutinize, and improve the decision made by the systems. These issues could cause difficulties in a legal dispute, particularly because most people are unaware of the potential inaccuracy of these explanations. Yes, we have seen it in the US already. For instance, with the complaint against Workday for using discrimination AI. And I constantly hear the same about the European Union on the news. Regulations are coming, and faster than everyone thinks, in all kinds of markets across the globe, especially on explainability and interpretability in ML-based HR tech. Yes, as you have rightly pointed out, the landscape of AI policy is rapidly evolving, with numerous countries and regions actively engaged in crafting guidelines, regulation and frameworks to promote trustworthy AI. Organizations such as the European Union's AI Act, AI Bill of Rights, Canada's AIDA and initiatives like the OECD's AI Principles exemplify global endeavors to address these concerns. There is even an initiative within the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN. It's worldwide and should be a concern for everyone. So, as we anticipate the official implementation of more legislation, how can we proactively ensure the responsible use of AI technologies? As we said, 
Start by properly understanding what kind of AI system you are using. AI technologies have to benefit society and avoid having negative impacts or risks. Good AI systems must be developed and deployed in a responsible and ethical manner. They have to be accurate, reliable, robust, ensure safety, have non-discriminatory practices. They have to be secure against hacking or manipulation, transparent and accountable, explainable and interpretable, and provide data protection. That's a comprehensive list of criteria for responsible use. It's a long list that unfortunately very few developers and users take seriously. And it should be a must when implementing these technologies. May we even think about generative AI? Um, this is going to be a tough one to regulate. Let's concentrate on what we are familiar with. As we wrap up, what advice would you give to organizations and individuals who are looking to adopt AI technologies while ensuring ethical and responsible use? My advice would be to start with a solid understanding of the principles we discussed. Accuracy, safety, transparency, fairness, explainability, interpretability, and more. It's important to assess the potential risks and benefits of AI deployment in your specific domain and context. Engage experts and collaborate with diverse stakeholders to ensure a holistic and balanced approach. Contact us in the HR Tech case. And always keep in mind that the goal is to create AI systems that augment human capabilities and well-being rather than replace or harm them. Thank you, Stefan, for shedding light on these important aspects of AI. It is clear that as AI becomes more integrated into our lives, we have to pay significantly more attention toward responsible developments and implementations. My pleasure, Laura. It's crucial that we approach AI with the commitment to ethics, transparency, and societal well-being. Only then we can truly harness the potential of these technologies for the betterment of humanity. Well said. Shortly, I'd like to gently mention that a chance for quite a long time we embodied AI ethic principles and it's good practice for all companies striving for fairness to make these principles public on their websites. If you are utilizing AI technologies and cannot locate any information pertaining to ethics or transparent explanations of the functionalities on the provider's website, it's worth asking yourself why. Good hint. Thank you to our listeners as well for joining us in this insightful discussion. Remember, as AI continues to shape our world, it's up to us, all of us, to ensure its responsible and ethical use. Contact us for more or check our website, gens.technology. We have plenty of information which has an impact on you and we are here to help as well as to offer magnificent tools to treat data ethically. Thank you very much for listening and goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.